This video is by, uh, Noctopus. Let's check this out, you guys. Let's learn why girls like playing support. We'll, we'll decide how accurate this is. If there's something that anyone who's chronically online misunderstands, it's women. So True. in my brave pursuit of understanding them better, I set out to answer one simple question. Why do girls always like playing support? But some of you have been complaining about the misogyny on this channel, so <laughs> I'd like to bring on and interview a real life woman what? to discover the a truth. A real woman? Okay, I'm gonna answer this right now, actually. The reason why a lot of girls like playing support is because growing up, the way that most girls are introduced to video games is via like their siblings and stuff. I, I think that not a lot of women are like introduced to video games because it's such like a male dominated hobby, a male dominated space. So, you know, for like a boy growing up, a lot of them is like, here, have a, have a PlayStation for your birthday. Have this video game for your birthday. A lot of times girls, at least like this was my experience growing up it was like have a barbie doll you know have a have a play set it was that kind of thing so the way i got into video games was my older brother introduced me to video games and when you're the younger sibling you're just automatically set to player number two and so i think that a lot of women are more comfortable playing support because this is like how they started playing video games this is like the role they took when they first started playing video games and so you always played the support role that was me i always played support role growing up before we get to the truth of this complex question, let's just go over what you're all thinking. Now, I know this subject can be kind of touchy, so to avoid any confusion, this obviously doesn't apply to every woman and everyone that plays support. Support is known for two things. One, being the role that no one wants to queue for, and oh. two, it's also considered to be the easiest role in existence. True. Now, I'll leave that all up to you to argue about in the comments, but what we can all agree on is the fact that you'll see more girl characters or cute skins in support roles. There oh, are that's games- true, actually. A lot of like support roles in video games are girls or they're like cute characters, and it's just like, I wanna play that one. One. I mean, that's the same reason why I picked up Alyssa in Tekken. I saw pink haired cute robot girl and was like, I vibe with this. <laughs> ...that keep the male to female ratio pretty even, like Overwatch, where six out of the 10 supports are female. But in games like League of Legends, 24 out of the current 36 supports are female. Just to Whoa. get some more stats, I thought it would be fun to contact some weebs who play Genshin Impact. And then I discovered that 22 out of the 30 or so support characters are girls. Although- uh, To be fair though, most of the characters in Genshin are girls <laughs> because they just sell better. I think that's more of just a marketing thing. That one's not really fair because most of the characters look like girls anyways. Why does this matter? Well, it makes sense to assume that women might want to play as something that they identify with more easily. But in True. an effort to back this up, I found one of the very few studies done on this very question. Researchers found that girls are more likely to play characters they can identify with. Mm -hmm. However, with older women, it really just came down to picking whatever was most aesthetically pleasing to them. You know, he brought up the thing about how women like to play characters that they identify with. For men, a lot of men like to play as women online. Why is that? They look cute. They're prettier to look at because they typically look better than men. It used to be because of the smaller hitbox. Oh, but it depends. For example, MMOs is because the girls get way better armor. ...pleasing to them. While this is interesting by itself, this wasn't enough. I needed to do something a bit more drastic instead of just looking at one nerdy research paper. The next step to find our answer was doing something that only the most courageous of He's men can do. He's gonna play video games with women. It was time to women. go straight to the source, real life women. <laughs> to do this was pretty simple. I just put out a tweet into the void that said, genuine question for any woman reading this. Why does it seem that girls are more commonly seen playing support roles in online games? That's fun. Thinking this would only get a few replies, I was pretty shocked when it ended up being over 700 lengthy explanations from so many different people. We like and I'm not gonna lie, this ended up being a lot of reading. So I took all of the answers and condensed them into the three most common and repeated points. The first reason a lot of women talked about is that they picked the support role to escape the toxicity True. of their teammates, mm -hmm. which they experienced more often if they played something like Tank or DPS. I wanted to research this, and surprisingly, there was actually a large number of studies done on the toxicity around girl gamers, which mostly ended up supporting these claims. For example, a study from Uppsala University found that Uppsala? women were actually half as likely to use in-game voice chat, while a yes, lot of the reasoning I would never, being they wanted to hide If I ever played any sort of like competitive game online, I would literally just be muted all the time. And from their teammates in Overwatch. This was also thought to have a connection to why there were less women in esports, but that's a topic that's been covered by lots of other videos. What we are going to get into, however, is one of the more 
controversial opinions. Human nature. There were a good portion of the replies to the survey that pointed towards support being the more motherly role, where you're the caretaker eh. of keeping the drooling DPS safe from any harm. Now listen, no. I know that not every girl plays support. Not every woman wants to baby their dumbass team. But let's see if there's any truth to this. Support is one of those essential roles that, well, may be boring to most people, is kind of the glue that holds everything together. There seem to be a lot of I want to take care of my team and be helpful types of players, and they even went as far as to call DPS boring because it doesn't give you enough utility. You know, I think I did actually see comments about this. Like, a lot of women like to play support roles because they feel like they are the most important. And it's true, support is heavily important. It can make or break you, to be honest. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I was more interested to look at the psychology of picking different roles. Mm. As a more manly DPS main myself, I, of course, like playing a more risky role that does absolutely fat damage. If you look at the support role as a whole, though... What the heck? Wait, are like video game roles is that like horoscopes for men <laughs> which if we look at typical cultural differences between men and women women are better at men often take more risk with lower rewards while women are usually on the opposite side of the spectrum to go along with this women on the other hand are typically more empathetic and in most instances are taught to play support irl in their households if we want to see how this ties into video games uh, though you need to understand something called uh, role congruity theory i don't we'll know man our... something that really bothers me is when people are like women are just biologically more empathetic i don't think that's true at all i think it's just that in a lot of cultures women are forced to be in those roles you know like the nature of nurture concept it really has to do more with nurture than it does innate nature ah uh, yes because you have a vagina you are more in tune with your senses <laughs> Like being an empathetic person or not empathetic, I think that's really just based on socialization. The Vagoon gives plus 20 stats to caretaking. <laughs> All right, let's jump back into this. I want to see this. CT for now. This basically states if you take a group of people and their roles fit stereotypes, the group will be more successful overall. Adversely, if someone is in a role where they stereotypically do not fit, they're discriminated against. Now, this obviously uh -huh. isn't always the case, and RCT seems to be getting less applicable as there are lots of women who don't play support at all and enjoy other roles for lots of different reasons. Enough of that now, though, because there's one more thing I neglected to mention. So Every stereotype out there, no matter how much you want to spin it as, like, a positive thing, they're not good. <laughs> I don't think that you should ever stereotype people. I, I just think it's weird. That's a bit more sinister and by far the number one most common answer for why women play supports. It's fun making grown men beg for heals. I like the feeling that people need me or they will die. I'm a support yeah, that's fair. true power. I get the most OP abilities. I get to decide if my toxic teammate lives or dies. I'm in charge. Support mains are absolute psychos. Not only am I now scared of support players, this was by far the number one and most common answer I got on the Twitter <laughs> yeah. survey. There is a huge True. sense of True. I decided to pick up a support role in my D&D campaign for once, which is like something I never do. And I would literally make my teammates beg. For the <laughs> I would make them beg anytime they wanted to be healed. <laughs> Healers just kind of accept that they're psychopaths. It seems like most support mains in general love the feeling of control and utility you get. They aren't necessarily mm. picking this role to avoid toxicity, but because they enjoy the strategic nature that comes with yeah. it. Not only that, but if you shit talk a support, they can decide to subject you to the worst 50-minute league game you've ever had. <laughs> and this could be considered yeah. a valid response to the toxicity problem we talked about earlier in the video, except you're also throwing the game for the rest of your team, but let's be honest, who cares about that? Reading these inspired me to try out support more, and while it's not really for me, I do have a newfound respect for anyone that chooses that role. Thanks for watching. If you want more videos about gaming psychology stuff, watch this video about why games think you're stupid. That's because gamers are stupid. That wasn't part of the video, but good video, good video. I enjoyed this. I enjoyed this. I thought that this was a good video. Thanks you guys so much for watching. Thanks for watching. Everyone say bye YouTube. Bye.